please. I, it wasn't tra- bedtime, and I was I'm like, trying I don't to leave, please. Sleeping in the bed with me. I'm, I'm, please, I'm trying. I to... didn't say that. What's the Wi-Fi password? What's the Wi-Fi password, Joe? What's the Wi-Fi password? What's the Wi-Fi password? You really want me to call the cops for this? <laughs> Wi-Fi. Go for it. What are they gonna? They're gonna laugh at you. Abusive narcissist. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. I haven't done anything. Yep, you've done everything. No, I haven't done Probably anything. I've touched my kids too. I haven't done anything. Yep. Oh, wow. You please know? say that. Please say that. What? You've probably touched my kids and I need to protect uh, them. And that's why we're getting out. Perfect. I'm glad you think that because you you want to protect them? Because you're the mom life, right? You're the, your mom, the mom bear, right? I'm the mom. I so so then why are you still out. here if I'm why such a threat? I'm leaving. That's why I don't Oh, in 23 that. days. If anybody touched my children, I'm pretty sure they'd be either be dead or do you want to die? Yeah, good. That's right there. Good. Okay. Good. So Joseph. So yeah, exactly. You're password. such a contradicting What's lying. What's my password? It's funny. Thank you. Bye, bitch. If a woman ever tells you she's willing to falsely accuse you of something, you better believe her. We all have people that we love and we've been upset with them, but when you love somebody, there's just some things you won't say or do. He better run like he stole something. Like Portugal? Portugal! Checkmate, man. Okay. He's a meat stretcher. Hey, what's your basic egg? White, White cis hat man. man. They're privileged. They don't get the struggle. You know, like, I'm queer. I'm a woman, sort of. They don't get it. White cis hat man. Have the privilege of being white, being cis, being heterosexual. The patriarchy works for that. <laughs> Are you not a white cis hat man? Bro got desperate. He thought he could men or bad his way into some coochie. Straight up, man. Be a alpha male, not a beta male. Excuse me, didn't mean to interrupt you. Normally, these are BOGO, like buy one, get one free. But they're BOFA today. Huh? It's like a special deal. We're doing, we're running BOFA on these pillows. BOFA? Yeah, yeah, like BOFA these nuts in your mouth. Are you serious? Did you say what nuts? These nuts? <laughs> I can give you his real name. You want me to give I need the real name, I got you, no, I got you, I got you. This is not a safety protocol, and I have to send this out. It's N-I-C-K, and then his last name's Kerr. It's K-E-R-R. Nicholas Kerr, but we just call him Nick. Sir, did you get the name, though? Nick Kerr. Nick Kerr. Nick, come here. <laughs> Guys, we're done. Gotcha. Right now, I work a little nine to five, but you know, I'm a aspiring actor, writer, and director. Uh, get with me. Came here Productions. It's gonna be big. I'm God. <laughs> bet, bet, but bet. yeah, that's about it. I write books too. You no, know, get at me if you want to read. <laughs> okay, of bet. course. So, do you believe that women should go 50 50? You believe? I like. I like. I feel like that's why I feel like I'm not to the point of dating because I'm not where I want to take care of my woman yet. But that's being that be you feel me? He was. That was. That's, that's cool. From, but but I want 22. See, girls be thinking of niggas. I'm young. Matching already. That's okay. He's in the front. I mean, that's okay. That's okay. But you feel me? I'm a real nigga, and I'm going to be real with you. Yeah. Uh, we're on a different time, you feel me? Everybody got to get their own, and I want my woman to have her own. I don't want her to depend on me. I want her, you feel me? If we ever just fall out, God forbid, I want her to still push through. You feel me? Make her money. We in a, this is an eat dog world, shorty. You, you think a nigga's going to get you by? You're never going to get by. That's just me. <laughs> oh, God. And that's how I'm going to teach my daughter. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. I appreciate his honesty. Instagram has convinced an entire generation that you got to be a millionaire at 22. By the way, the average age for a millionaire is 55 years old. Ain't nothing wrong with having big dreams as long as you have a job to support them and you're working towards them. You're an idiot! I'm just thinking, like, if I was another nigga looking in on our relationship, I look like a fucking cuck. I look like an idiot. As another nigga looking in on your relationship, you are a fucking cuck. You're a fucking idiot. Yep, 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 yep He's yep. a rich one. It doesn't matter. He's a rich one. I'm broke as fuck! Not yet. I'm not rich Not yet. yet. Because... Nah, yeah, it's, it's good that you believe in me. Spoil, like, I spoil you. Like, I, I will give you the she world. Do. Like, I don't, do. I don't understand okay. why that's not good enough. Wait, 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 wait. Why do you not respect his boundaries? Okay, cool. You got the nigga courtside tickets. Whoop the fucking do. Think you could go fuck four niggas from the UK <laughs> and it's just all cool? Could a nigga get to see Jordan Poole miss a fucking three point game winner? Are you fucking serious? He might be right. Buck, buck, buck. Little getting dug out. Raw. 
raw. And what men think is, oh, but she's 35, she's over. Oh, but she's been with guys. So it doesn't work like that anymore. But for women, especially in this day and age, the timeline is endless. When a woman turns 20, she's got every guy from 18 to 30 following her and messaging her. But when she turns 30, she's just got the same amount of men just pushed forward. It's 30 to 40. When she turns 40, there are still all men 40 to 60 seeing her as a young chick if she's attractive her cue is endless i think she's confusing a man wanting marriage and a man wanting to hit i don't know if i should tell them this but if a 23 year old is in your dms telling you you look younger than you are they're probably not thinking about marriage do your homework who here has a man that's a gardener construction worker and they do not pack them lunch it's 2023 we don't need to do that shit no more we don't need to do that no more that's you that's you that's you, right? That's right, because you don't need to do that shit no more, huh? It's 2023, right? Huh? That's stupid ass bitch. Shut the fuck up. First of all, I don't have no problem with that. If you decide not to cook for your man, but you have to understand the kind of man you got with. You got with a man that's going to wake up early every motherfucking day. He's got to work with fools that are just like him. You understand that? Uh, that's fine. We're talking about him right now. So why'd you get with him if you're not going to take care of him? What I'm trying to say is you could have got with somebody else. You could have got with somebody who doesn't wake up early in the morning, man. You could have got with someone like me. <laughs> I'll wake up with you at 6 a.m. Hey, you want McDonald's, bitch? Or what? <laughs> you, you got with him. If you don't want to be with that man, don't. But there's another woman that will take care of that man real good. But the question is more along the lines of is it possible that <clears throat> is I it, influenced her to try and get me for twenty thousand dollars a month for a two year old? No. Is is it is it yeah. No. We never spent twenty thousand dollars on my daughter when we were together. Mm -hmm. And I had the money. Yeah, but now I don't I don't I, like who spends that kind of money on a kid? Mm -hmm. The credit card was wide open. So oh. what the fuck do you suddenly need that kind of money for? You change like you change the quality of your life. I was going to say the exact same what thing. Happened? Like no, the, the, quali no, the quality of life no, changed. No, he didn't. Yes, do you, did. you don't, wait, Ish, you don't think that the quality of he her did. life changed simply he by, it, simply by entering his existence and his, his orbit? Did you hear what he said first? <laughs> Are the expenses. He's saying, if, let's say how- I never spent 20000 on her on the a month. month. Yeah. Let alone the child. But she's not living with it's it. Not, Everything but it's changes. That, but it's not but that, it's not that number that changes the quality look, of life. Look, look. You changed it. No, 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 no. She changed it. She left me, and oh, yeah. she's trying to take my life with her. Yes. Mm, it yeah. does not work that way. That's exactly how it works. For context, the woman that he married said she wasn't there for the money, so he got her to sign a prenup. Now the woman who claimed that she wasn't there for the money wants $20,000 a month to pay for their two-year-old. I'm on Team Tyrese. I think that if you choose to leave a person outside of infidelity and abuse, you shouldn't be able to take the lifestyle that they provided. Always remember, fellas, the lawyers get richer, the judges get richer, and the woman gets richer. When you go into that courtroom, everybody leaves more wealthy except for you. If you're wealthy, don't let them guilt you out of getting that prenup. Because if they wasn't working with you, they shouldn't get anything that you've worked for.